Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, as you guys could probably tell by the thumbnail, that this video uh, is a little bit different than a normal uh, tutorial. I will still be making um, our regular, you know, uh, random tutorials, but um, I wanted to start a new series basically uh, implementing all the tutorials into one project. So um, that's what this is. It's Let's Build an RPG. Uh, this will be part one, and hopefully what this will do is um, help you guys incorporate uh, new things into your guys' projects and to basically see uh, what they do in, in basically a project. Um, so you, you guys can get like an overview and see what you can do. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to edit, and uh, for this we're going to be using a third person camera. So we're going to go to characters person and get our character uh we're gonna change some things to our person here in a bit but um let's go ahead and just uh set up our main sort of thing so we're gonna get our camera and connect that to our player and for our camera we can go ahead and uh make our offset distance uh 2.50 and our z will be four uh, basically, this is just setting up our third person. You guys probably know the idea because I do it a lot in my tutorials, but uh, we're going to go ahead and stick, uh, put the inputs. So left stick will control our player. So left stick up and down. I'm going to scale this down so we can go ahead and fit a lot of stuff in here. Uh, stick movement left, uh, left and right. Okay. Uh, I'm just setting it up here. Uh, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and... Uh, make uh basically a custom character and we're gonna go ahead and make uh, our third person camera and we're gonna make a sprint uh you guys probably have seen all those besides the custom character on my channel uh because those are pretty basic but um i'm gonna show you the custom character right now so uh once we have our third person camera re ready we can go in the game and uh, we can go ahead and uh, see ourselves. If you guys, obviously, I have a tutorial on this already, but um, yeah, this is basically our uh, perfect third person camera. It works perfectly nice. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a jump just because we want to jump in this game. And I think what I'm going to do for jump is our right, uh, our right button. So we're going to go ahead and move that down here and connect that to jump. So now if we go in the game, we can press the right button and boom, we got jump. Um, so now let's go ahead and uh, make our custom character. Uh, so this custom character is not difficult at all. It's just, it requires two cylinders and that's basically it. So we're going to go ahead and grab uh, two cylinders. That's one. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our second one. So for our first cylinder, um, I did the calculations already. Um, but if we go to the size, we can go ahead and change our wait is this yeah this is our body this is our body and this is our head so for our body uh we're gonna go ahead and change uh the size down to or actually we just need to change the y to 0.88 and leave these two at 0.80 and we're gonna go ahead and take off destructive and destructible and you can leave these three on um and then for this uh this is our head of course uh we're gonna change this to uh, 0.60 and you don't need to change the uh, the X and the Z and you can turn off destructive and destructible and all we need to do now is go ahead and connect those and what we want to do is since our player is basically uh, this custom person we're gonna go ahead and connect this to our person um, and then in our person we can go ahead and turn off visible because we don't want our uh, person to be inside of our custom character if that makes sense uh, so if we go in the game uh, we can go ahead and see that it looks a little bit off uh, that is because in our body uh, we want to go ahead and change the connection point to center and center so basically it will take place of our actual character and now if we go in the game uh, we have our character um, you can notice that there is some uh, little thing on the bottom like that we can go ahead and change that um, what it should do is, 
let me go ahead and see why that's happening. Oh, that's why. Um, also, in our person, I forgot to mention that we will have to scale it down a little bit. So for the size, uh, for Y, we're going to go ahead and change this down to 1. And then X and Z will be 0.50. So now if we go in the game, there we go. So we can tell that our uh, character isn't all the way onto the ground, uh, just so that there's not a lot of friction and um, he could still like move. Also, that's for the uh, custom character. I'll show that soon. Um, but now we have a uh, perfect little custom character, I guess, with two cylinders. Um, but now we want to add uh, our own custom elements to it, which which will be our textures. So for our uh, body, we're going to go ahead and change this to red just to differ uh, differentiate for right now. And uh, I have our textures over here. I'll explain what they are. Let me go ahead and grab them all. Okay. All right, so for this texture, uh, I'll go ahead and open it. Uh, actually, I won't connect that yet. Uh, basically, what this is, is our uh, color for the entire object. Uh, so basically, you can pick any color you want to. I picked like a light, you know, um, a light kind of peach color. And for the textures, we're going to want to turn all of them on besides the Z minus because that's where our face texture is going to go. So we have just this turned off. And so um, if we go ahead and apply that to our head, we can go ahead and see that our head is blank besides for the face part. So we have just like this peach colored, uh, you know, basically object. And then we can go ahead and apply our face now. So our face texture is this. Uh, you guys can go ahead and copy this if you want to. It, it took me, you know, no time basically. But um, now since we have on the other one, uh, all these marked, all we want is this Z minus marked because these aren't necessary since they're going to be taken by our other texture. So what we can do is go ahead and just connect that to our uh, head uh, cylinder. And if we go on the game, uh, we can go ahead and see now that we have our custom face on our character. And obviously, of course, you can make any sort of face, but um, I just made this really quick and you guys could, could change it as much as you want. Um, you can also add hair and you can add whatever you want to just by applying uh, different textures. So now what we can do is, um, actually, I want to explain this over here. Uh, this will be uh, like a template sort of, uh, this is what I worked with where you can add the eyes right here and then the nose. But um, besides that point, we're going to go ahead and add uh, our sprint. So for the sprint, we're going to go ahead and take our inputs, stick movement, and this will be for the left stick because we use the left stick for our person. So left stick up and down and then uh, left stick left and right. So we got those. Now, uh, if you guys watched my last uh, sprinting tutorial, uh, I included an and note on, but uh, in this tutorial, we do not need that. So I will just be using the uh, calculate multiply uh, note on. We're going to go ahead and multiply so we can get two of those. And um, what we're going to need is our sprint button. So for the uh, sprint button, I'm going to be using A. So we are, we're going to get our A button right here. And we're going to go ahead, put that right here. And so now all we have to do is connect these. So for the up and down, connect it to input one and button A, connect it to that. And then for button A, we're going to connect it to the top one. And then for the stick left and right, we're going to connect it to the bottom. And now basically all we have to do is match up our up down to our forward. So we're going to grab our uh, result to forward and backward. And we're going to grab our left and right and our result for that to left and right as well. So we have our regular movements right here and we have our sprint movements right there. So if we go ahead and go in the game, we can see that this is our normal walk, but if we hold down A, we are now sprinting. And you could still jump with this. Jumping looks a little bit funny because uh, it's not the normal character, so there's no animations. Um, and then I think that might just be it. Uh, we have our custom character, we have our sprint, and we have our third person. Uh, I that's I guess it for part one. Uh, my plan for part two is to go ahead and make um, a health bar, a, like a functioning health bar, and we're gonna go ahead and add enemies. So when uh, an enemy uh, hits us, 
it will basically take damage off our health bar and it will go about like that. Um, but if you guys found this helpful, uh, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on it. Uh, maybe go ahead and comment what you want to see on this uh, RPG. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, goodbye.